Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, at the end of the episode I had some problems with the torches, I haven't got that resolved yet, but never mind. We'll have to live without it for the time being and put some grotty old um, torches down from uh, sulfur, type are they, They're sulfur, uh, glowstone torches down. So let's get and make some more glowstone torches while I'm thinking about it. Because the glowstone torches, you need to space very closely together. Oh, that's really weird. I don't know why that's happened. Never mind. Just one of those things. Playing with beta packs, we'll learn your lesson. So we need to, let's take 12 of those. That's like enough of those. Only 24. Okay, that's a lot to do. And then we need some glowstone. That'll make a good, it'll make enough for the time being. We need to make some more wood actually so in the meantime let's have a look at what we're getting on with so this is stopped again because of course i've just ah yep yeah. every time i start the game it loses all the things and reload at least i know the kind is not too long so there we go let's carry on with some i need the ender pearls in fact i need all of these string things oops what's happened there Oh good. How much does this take for hardened glass? Let's have a look. Actually it's not too much for hardened glass. Let's get these hardened glasses out. Oh there's only one more to go isn't there? Right great. So that means I can upgrade this machine which I would like to do as well. It's been nearly finished. And we need to make some signal and gears. Well, at least one anyway. There we go. Select that. And I can start to make us some ender pearls. We'll take that with us. We need that. Did I make the signal on? I've forgotten if I did or not. The electrum I did make. No, I haven't made it yet, have I? Because it, it needed more than a few pieces of stuff. So let's get on with that. So here's the recipe. Let's see the blend we have to make. Yeah, we can use destabilized redstone. Maybe it's this one. Oh, it's in the alloy smelter. I can't do that. But I can do this one. So we need copper, silver, and some iron oxide. Oh, that's fairly straightforward. So let's have a look. What have we got here? Copper. I think that if we take, we'll make four, four copper. So look, if we got any silver in here, I don't think we have yet, have we? Oh, yes, we have. I'll take four of those just in case, and we need some iron. Basically, the iron oxide and the copper make redstone. The proportions are slightly just slightly different, that's all. So let's get all of these through and in here to get them out. We could take this magnesium and put that through as well because that's going to give us oxygen and magnesium, which is uh, actually the, the only reason they're keeping magnesium is because of its value 12. Because 12 is actually a good number, it divides by 3 and 4, so you can do it twice if you see what I mean. So what do we have to do for this recipe now? Let's see where the ingot is again, here we go. So we need to make some iron oxide first. How many do we need? Just one iron oxide, 12 copper and 4 silver, okay. So iron oxide, oh, I've got plenty of iron in there haven't I? Oops, one. Actually, we need two iron, don't we? And three oxygen for this, if I remember rightly. Let's put that in there and that in there. And get that. That'll give us at least ten ingots, which is fine. So we need four silver. Is it 16 copper or 12? 12 copper, wasn't it? And one of those. 
Should give me some signal and blend, I think. That could be a nuisance. Have I got that right? Because to actually to actually melt that into an ingot. And maybe we can use a crucible, I don't know. Let's have a look at that, the uses of that one. Induction smelter, of course. Oh, it gives you two. Understand? That's quite generous. Magna crucible. Ah, we can do it, magna crucible. That will give me one ingot. Same in the smelter, but we can't do the smelter, of course. That'll give you 108. So this industrial crucible furnace is rubbish. So don't use it. So our best bet is we can at least do the magnum crucible and then we can oh yes we can not do that as it happens can we f smelt that only in the induction furnace oh, that's a bit of a nuisance i thought there was a recipe for this one yes so there seems to be two recipes for this combination Oh man, and that's the one I don't need. Okay, I'm gonna have to report this one as well. All right, so that's messed up. So I can't make that, but what we can make, of course, is we can make a capacitor bank. Now a capacitor bank requires, let's have a look at this, four capacitors, a basic capacitor bank does anyway. We need this one here. We need four blocks of redstone, four gold, and four copper blocks. And I'm probably going to make. Oh, I only got two. Four gold, that's how much copper. We can do four. No, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's make them in the, in the machine itself. Got some carbon in there, I don't want that in there, do I? Not really. Let's go and put these away. And change my oxygen before I suffocate. So, redstone's not going to be a problem. Well, maybe it will be later on, but gold um, and copper. Let's get some copper. We need. F Actually, I'd like to do eight if it's possible. But well, I think we'll start with four, make one bank. Where's gold gone to? That's actually right. It's probably going to be the wrong type of copper as well. I think copper is one of those ones which we need to change. In fact, let's, while it's doing that, let's just go downstairs. Put some torches down. Um, the one I'm actually we're all right in this corner. I think let's press F3 and have a look. There's actually F4 as well. Oh yes, there we go. How about that? So there's one space here which we can easily light up. Another one. Oh, she didn't quite reach it. That does. Let's see. That's that one works. Oh, fantastic. Oh, it's not too bad then. Let's put. Normally, you need to do it about like that. Oh, okay. Actually, this makes life a bit easier. Does it reach that far? It does. Right, good. Where did he come from? Because what I want to do downstairs. There we go. Nearly green. Well, <laughs> nearly. Let's just. That should get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one. So now we are safe in terms of mobs, I think. Nope. There's another space over here. Double check it because you never know. Fantastic. Okay, there's some mob spawning areas down there. Don't care about that because we're going to put this down there now, like that. 
and then stand back. In fact, I'll turn off this lighting now because that's going to set everything on fire. And that's why I brought these slabs with me. So basically what you do with the slabs, you put them down like this and then wherever it reaches, it can't sit on fire. But in fact, it will only go all the way around here like that. Oops, missed. So the range of this I think is about 10 and I've just kind of put it in the wrong place. Let's take this, get my bucket again. And I'm going to dig up these three at the back here because I don't want them, I need them anyway. At least for the time being. And you'll see where it reaches is to here. So if I take this bucket now, let's just take this one off here then I know where I want to put it. outside is it night is it night time if I put it say here like that put these two we'll put these down as well by the way yeah, I don't really want to set myself on fire you'll see that reaches now to both sides of this just perfectly so we can put that on there and we know that this area is safe in terms of not setting things on fire. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a basic capacitor bank on here like that. And hopefully I'm going to be able to connect to the input of one of these. Maybe I have to use two. Because I have got ten power cables. Or I can use the aluminium ones. Galactic, from galactic science. So right, is it night time? I think of by the sound of it, it's probably night time. Let's just go to sleep. Let's see what we can go and collect outside. Just to make sure you get yourself a torch, a torch, a sword. Oh, some plenty of sticks. Let's just, you know. Oh, eesh, I got me actually, that one did. Good. Let's attract some attention here. Get out of the way a bit. Ah. This guy should start to shoot. As long as we've got enough. Yes, there they go. What else have we got around here today? Just a few more bits and pieces, I reckon. Oh, the creeper. So, oh, look. What have we got? A roast chicken. Where did that come from? You can even fizz. What's it gone now? Yeah. So, let's drop our XP, not very much of it this time, but we can just go in here, and as soon as you go in here, you get your, your health back. Saturation's back, so we're off. So what I wanted to do was to make a signal in gear, and I can't do it, that's right. Because of that recipe that's broken. Roast chicken, hmm. Interesting. And some more feathers, that's also interesting. Let's put that away. So that's what we've got in here. So I'm a bit stuck on that one. Glowstone must have come from those mobs. I don't need the torches, that's good. So, right. I'm waiting for those gold, aren't I? And the copper blocks. 
got 23 copper blocks. That's, should, I should probably empty out the copper in the system now. So let's just turn that on, empty it out again. Yep. Oh no, more than copper still there. Let's just put in the gold in here. Put the gold back into there. I think that's. Yep. Try that again. This time we should get some gold blocks. Probably get about the same actually. Um, so I would like to make eight of these capacitors. How many? How much redstone have we got in here? 496, so that should be enough. Eight. Clear that off. We need eight of these. And eight gold. I think we've already got two gold, haven't we? So let's have a look. Two gold blocks. We've got three there. That's, oh, it needs a bit more. I'll turn it off now, actually. I don't want to use all the gold up in that respect, in that way. But there will be enough in here. So we can now go and test this, if it works. No, it doesn't. It's the wrong type of copper. Let's go fix that. Thermal foundation is usually the one we want. Or converter. We haven't got the couple block one. Put one of those in there like that. And we want thermal foundation. Let's come along here, put the thermal foundation one in here. Put those through, and now we get our 22. Thermal foundation, couple blocks, and try that one. And you see, you can make the capacitors. A very important trick as it happens. I'm not sure what the what's the power requirement of those. Let's just turn it off. Because it would actually be better to make this first, I think. Let me have a look. Oh, I want this wrong place. Let's go over here. Oh, we're looking in the wrong place. There we are. Four. Let's just turn that off and then empty out the gold out of there. So it's now empty. don't think they're actually too expensive. Let's just see. Jump. Nearly enough to actually do all eight, which is great because that means I can make two capacitor banks. Let's just quickly change this tank while we're waiting for the last one of those. No point in hanging around. go now we come along here and turn off that recipe and let it carry on to make yet another which it hasn't yet done <laughs> ender pearl so right capacitor banks let's have a look at those just a block of redstone we need for those so we should need two blocks of redstone let's have a look at that one two try that again get that recipe Now we also we've got some conduit in our system, I think. Fifteen. Great, that's plenty. I thought I didn't have enough for that. So what we can do with this now, hopefully, is if I can actually attach it on. So the input one, energy pylon. I suspect this is already emptied out, has it? Yeah. And how much power has this got in it? It actually has got some charge in it now. Two hundred. 41 million RF which is pretty good see what you can't do with these let's take these things out of here so attach them to that it doesn't work oh, it does work it just swaps the thing over that's that one so it enchanted change that one to that one which we don't really want so maybe I can do it 
by attaching to this a capacitor bank and then taking it from here but I'd like to put the capacitor bank up here like this and then joining this to here and I've got a feeling I can just about do it so let's go down here oops this is actually going to be a potentially bad thing because there are mobs down here potentially mobs down in but I think yeah I think this is the import one so we should be able to attach a conduit here like that that's actually joined up no way let's just take it just, does that work I didn't think that worked or maybe that's just in the version Minecraft 10 version of this thing because if that's the case I could have done this ages ago <laughs> I mean, to remove these bottom bits as well can't we because we only need the one on the side there stand on something I've got something to stand on yes I've got some mint here let's just stand on that to start with yep I should be able to do it in fact we've got 11 left so let's put the one up here that should then join into this one and then we should be simply able to just bring it across like that and then that will charge up that's already full and that will then use the extra power here in fact what I should do is remove this from in here now because I don't like this remove this one here and then put the capacitor bank here like that that's what I thought we had to do in, in the first place you see but obviously not so what I can then do I think I can then restrict the output of this so actually 1000 is fine we'll leave it a thousand because with a thousand these pipes I don't know how much they actually can take as well as it telling me maximum output is 500,000 RF per tick as opposed to 600 it was normally 640 isn't it so there we are Surpri I, you know, that surprised me a bit to be honest with you I didn't realise that but never mind this second capacitor bank is more than useful because that's now going to be charging this up very slowly that's a thousand RF per tick and then after we've got our thousand RF per tick let's we also put some carbon into this thing by the way let's get that going in fact it should have a pull side because we could put a chest here in fact what we could do with this I think it's got the range if I, if I shift right click this does it work it's not currently harvestable so you can't move it and I could have put it on the, underneath here like that okay so Let's go and get some more carbon and get that chest into this. Actually, I'm really surprised about that. I learned something today. I'm sure I couldn't connect those up before and when I was playing it before. So let's put the water away. You know, I'm not sure whether it actually makes sense where I want to put this water. If I could put it into here. So you can fill up the buckets in here. 163. Where did they disappear to? They just disappeared. Oh. Okay. That's not what I expected. I expected to get the empty, the empty ones back again. But I suppose that's fair enough because when you make it, you get them anyway. So let's have a look. Quests. So what have we got to do here? The base 
The base three systems need a large amount of power to restart its subsystems. Warning. Try to get enough energy first to discharge directly into the submission unit. Charges in a submission power station can lead to a rare quest reset. In other words, if that happens, you lose the power you've got. So you don't want to do that just yet. So what that's all about, basically. And then we'll get some nice rewards. We'll get a vacuum chest, four laser turrets, four laser add-on turrets, concealers. I guess that's because the mobs can see it with a fire rate and will avoid it. And then we get eight upgrades for uh, updating the fire rate and four base turrets and then one loot chest. So that's going to be quite interesting once we've done this. So we need 5.4 billion RF. So let's just start that up. Let's get that. Um, it's going to take a while to do this, but I should got a chest in here. Let's have a look. I've got some energy cell in here too. I wonder why. Put that in there. Let's go and get a chest. There's one in here, 69. And we want some carbon, which we'll put on the side here. So if we simply put onto here now, there's, there's, low, there's a low chance of mobs being around here now. Um, I want to put this chest. I want to put into this chest all the carbon that we've got. And I want this thing to be pulling from this side here. As you can see, the, this has now gone up. And this will be going down. So we're generating quite a lot. So in the meantime, let's go and get some more carbon. I think it's all in here, isn't it? Control shift click on that and it'll give me a load more carbon. And then we'll put that into this chest. And I'm going to have to do a lot of that because we need a lot of carbon for doing this. Um, to get this up, up to speed. And let's put these 12 nanotubes, let's put these... I'll put them away. Because then I've got them there for diamonds if I ever need them. We actually have 13 carbon nanotubes now. And we'll put this all away. And then we'll look at the next quest. Actually, what I'd like to do next is to automate the um, some of this stuff that we've, we're doing at the moment. So what I need is a fluid transfer node. Maybe it'd be easy to look at the node, wouldn't it? So that's one block of iron and one block of redstone will give me a transfer node. So let's see if I can do that. I ah, no problem. Redstone, no problem. I've got plenty of redstone at the moment. We'll make three. Actually, I really want to make four. And I've got some iron ingots in here too. I saw those just a second ago. Get the four going on those two. And with these, we'll get these into this, into here. And we'll say we want to make these fluid transfer nodes like that. Uh, in fact, I want the ender pearls too, because I can't really use a quarry until I get the out of it. It's too much of a pain going there and back. Um, what we can also do is we need some more of these chemical decomposers. But I have a feeling that we can't do that just yet. Because let's take my... Where is it now? This one. Let's take another chest. So we need the ender pearls and we need uh, 64 chests. We've got plenty of chests for the time being. Let's go down here and let's put on to here one of these chests. I think we'll do it at this side. So we want to get in roughly about the middle. Let's put in, not chest, let's put this crucible here. And then let's put into this here a transfer node, a transfer here. And I want to put the, basically the, the chest here like that. I want to then take out of this chest 
all of this stuff, we'll put it down by analysis. Hopefully is what we're going to build to get our lava generation going. So that's going to go like that. And then we're just going to extract out of here whatever comes out, like this. We should just be able to join these together like that. Now we need to go and get some cobble. I don't think, oh, I've got plenty of cobble, so I don't have time in the system so let's take the cobblestone out of the system or some of it anyway there we go five stacks yeah i'll take it all out because it's a lot better producing uh, these than it is the other ones where i'm talking about it's much more effective you get two stacks from one from one obsidian and I think eight of these will make one obsidian with some water, like that. And then from the side of here, we're going to pull out of this. Um, in fact, we could do it now, actually, or at least part of it. In fact, I think I'll do it on this side, like this. I'll break this one. Of course, it'll set things on fire as soon as I do this. You'll see what I'm trying to do when I do this now. So I'm going to place this down like, like that, and then when this join, when we get the node, we'll be able to join it onto here, remove that one, and then come down here, and we'll be able to fill into a tank. Of s actually, what we'll do is we'll put it down one below here, like that. I think it'll go down here like this actually. And then we'll put on top of this, like that, a, um, where's it going from? I think it goes in at the side and it comes out the bottom or something like that for these things. Something a bit awkward. For a barrel, a stone barrel is what we need. Well, we've got plenty of stone. We've got no stone, so that's no big deal. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I see I'm fuming away. I don't know whether I like these particle effects or not. Anyway, until next time. Bye for now.